Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I am going to show you a wonderfully helpful little script that will help you separate your spreads into individual pages so that you can export a PDF with an interior bleed if you need to. Note, this script works best if you are using primary text frames. If you are not utilizing primary text frames, this script will likely not work for you. Uh, the reason being is because with primary frames, it is easy to go in and lock the location of them, which prevents them from shifting around. Um, it's a lot more difficult to do this with um, regular text frames. So just take note, if you're not utilizing primaries, this may not work as well for you. So let's look at my ugly document that I have. The problem we have is that this pretend client that I have made up needs to have a print file that includes an interior bleed. We don't have an interior bleed on this file because the bleeds on the interior are connected. There's simply no room for them to be exported. On single pages, such as this one, we do have an interior bleed, but not on ones where it's a spread. It is entirely necessary to design a book in spreads, as you well know, in order for it to flow properly when it is printed in a book. We're not gonna go through and change this whole book manually into a single spread document. The other thing we can't do is simply deselect facing pages. For example, this is set up with facing pages, but if we go to File, Document Setup, and then deselect facing pages, okay, now things are a little bit messed up. My text is missing from this page. I don't know where it ran off to. We're gonna undo that. I have seen lots of very strange solutions to this problem that um, were not fixed with the strange solutions. Um, but this wonderful little script that I found from intools.com does the trick perfectly. Let me show you what this script does. So if I go to my scripts panel, uh, the script is called separate pages. We're going to go down and find that. I'm going to double click on it. And then you'll note that my pages are still facing pages, but they have been separated from each other in the pages panel. You can do this manually too by dragging pages around. Uh, take for example, if you did something like this and you just move them back and forth accordingly. I'm not gonna do that on a 200 page document. And this is what that script does manually. If you'll notice now we have that interior bleed line that we can see. Now we can export this document with interior bleeds. The one thing you will need to go in and modify a little bit is your uh, images. If you have any images that do extend into that interior bleed, you'll need to pull them out a little bit to make sure that they are still getting that uh, eighth of an inch around. You'll also notice that my text frames have shifted a little bit, and this, will, this is what I was talking about at the beginning. If you're not using primary text frames, this is really difficult to fix. So let's go ahead and undo everything that I just did. Put us back to our regular uh, spreads. There we go. Okay, so before we run the script, here's how you keep your frames from shifting. You're gonna go to your A parent page or all your parent pages, any of your parent pages that have to do with your text. You're gonna go into these parent pages. You're gonna select these text frames. Then you're gonna to go to your layers and you're going to lock these text frames. Um, you can also just lock the layer that they're on, but I do find you need to do the individual text frames as well. Now, when we go back and we run this script again, we should find that our text frames have successfully stayed within the margins where they are supposed to be. And we now have a document that is perfectly ready for export. After I go in and adjust these images just a little bit, draw them out, make sure that they are actually going into the bleed. And there we go. Now we can go to File, 
export. And we're going to save this PDF. Now, when we use document bleed settings, we have an eighth of an inch bleed on all sides, including the interior. And we're going to just do a nice high quality print. And there we go. Now we have a PDF that technically is still facing pages, but has an interior bleed. Um, if you do not know how to install a script, it's okay. I have some videos for you to watch. I didn't want to go into all that detail in this video, um, but check that out at this link here. I think I put that on earlier in the video as well. Um, but thank you all for watching. Hope this helps. This was a big problem for me. And I'm very happy to have this wonderful little script to fix the problem. Look at the graph, guys. Look at how many of you are not subscribed. If you have been watching for a while, please go ahead and subscribe. It really helps our analytics, helps us to learn a little bit of revenue on the side so we can keep making these free videos for you. Thank you, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.